Hey guys, happy Monday. It's your girl LaShawn and I'm back with another great episode. Wisdom Mondays, or just wisdom every day, right? So today I just want to bring to you one of my favorite books, The Acts of Faith and The Daily Meditation for People of Color. This is something that I use just as a self-guide um, for empowerment daily and it goes by the dates, right? So I want to share with you guys, today focus around let go, right? Let go. We must learn to let go, right? So what it says to us today, when we believe we are losing control, we grab on tight. If we want to avoid pain, we hold on for dear life. When we are in fear of losing, looking bad, or being abandoned, we tighten our grip. When, we, when our greatest fears comes upon us, we clench our fists and teeth, close our eyes, and hold on. We must learn to let We have the go. capacity to live through any adversity if we simply let it go. We cannot stop time or destiny, right? That's what most of us think. Whatever is going to happen has already happened. We must learn to see it through to the end. We hold on. We prolong the pain. When we dig our feet in, we must be uprooted. When the time comes for growth and change, we must have the courage and faith to let it go. Whatever leaves my life makes room for something better. Whatever leaves my life makes room for something better. Come on, let's talk about it. So, I believe personally Never do we ever begin a program, a business, a relationship, a thought with the mind that this may not last forever. When we talk about letting go, we talk about all those things that are bringing us pain, all of those things that are keeping us from becoming who we really want to be, or all of those things that may be holding us back. That's what we want to talk about letting go. If you are a person who's dealing with something right now and you're like stuck in between, you really don't know if you want to let it go or you really don't know if you want to stay. Well, you know how I talk to you guys about that little, little voice in the inside, you know, that inner intuition and that, you know, where you come to the point of just being quiet and listening to the inner self. If the inner self is telling you, let it go. Let it go. I know it's scary, but what I'm telling you is let it go. Because one thing about it, it's already been worked out. So whatever it is that you know you were scared to let go of because you don't you're not sure of what's coming or if if something else is gonna work out or you know you don't know if you're gonna find someone else, the universe is working for you. But you have to work for yourself first by letting it go. Okay, I don't care what it is. If it's bringing you pain, if it's sadness, if it's making you unhappy, you know, I'll let it go. Because I'm sure there are some things and there is something and there is someone that is out there waiting for you. But if you won't let it go, you will never know what else is there or what's coming afterwards. Because we are built to go through all of this. Your mind can outthink all these situations for you if you let it be and let it go. Okay? Come on here and just give y'all some words of empowerment. And I know me for myself personally, just being in business, being a young black entrepreneur, it's always scary. You know, it's always scary. And we don't want to let it go. We want to, we want to keep this program going forever. We want this business to run the same way forever. But if it's not working... Let it go. And like I told y'all before, be unapologetic about who you are. Be intentional about what you want. Speaking into the universe, believe it and watch it flourish. You know, plant those seeds. You know, you got to speak life into to, to your life. Speak life into self and just believe. And anything that's working against you, trust me, it will all begin to work in your favor. Okay? If you just believe and trust and let it go, you know, let it go. Let it go. Meditate on it. Pray on it. Whatever you need to do. And let it go. And this week, I chose jazz music. I love jazz music. So yeah, guys. I'll see y'all next week. See everybody next week. I love you. Keep
Keep your head up. Stay strong. Be you. Do you. Be unapologetic. Be intentional. This is the year. The year of harvest. You know, you planted those seeds and you should be reaping the benefits, right? And I can always say you reap what you sow. So be careful what you put out there.